this video we're going to talk about Wi-Fi testing. How you can verify that you're getting the internet bandwidth that you're paying for from your internet provider. Stay tuned. There's a lot of different apps you can download to your phone, to a shield, to your iOS device, to check your Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, to get your internet upload download speeds as well as your latency. I've tried several of them. Some of them are just junk and have a lot of ads. Um, and we've chose one that works for us and most of you might even already know about it. But perhaps you haven't tried to put it on your shield to verify that your upload, download, and latency are, are acceptable and that you're getting what you pay for from your internet provider. We're using Ookla speed test. We're going to open it up, run a report on it, and show you what it looks like. You can download it from the Play Store um, on your shield. Works great. I'd recommend checking it every week couple of weeks just to make sure that what you're buying from your internet provider is what they're delivering and of course if you're having any streaming um, issues one of the first things to check is is the router providing the proper upload download uh, is my latency a problem if it is maybe you just simply need to reboot your router you know cycle it off turn off the power wait uh, 30 seconds to a minute restart it um, but this is a great tool at least to find out if everything's working as it should. Let's show you what a typical test looks like when you use this app. Here we go. Okay, so we're at the speed test menu. It's as simple as coming in and clicking the test button. Since we've already ran tests before, it's asking if I want to test again. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to go and do the ping test first. And as I move my pointer, you'll see it says 27 milliseconds. That's pretty good ping you want. The lower the ping, the, the better you can play uh, games, streaming's uh, if very efficient as well. It's a measure of how fast you can actually make that connection. And download is how fast you can download that file from a server that you're testing from down to your uh, device here in your home, office, wherever you may be set up. And then upload how fast can you send that file from your location up to the server. And this uh, app is set to look at the nearest server that you're located to. And so those are pretty good numbers. We're paying for 100 down and 10 up, and we're at 112 and 12 up. But if you come down to settings, we'll just show you something. If you want to get off of the auto select and change server, come down and pick something, oh, let's say a couple hundred miles away and let's go and do a test there. Okay, ping is about the same. 115, 15 coming down. What's the upload? Okay, we're bouncing around 10, 11, 12 occasionally. So not too bad there as well. But what you'll find if you use the app is it's going to vary based on the server you do your testing with and that's very important to know and remember because as you're surfing the web or using different streaming apps whether you're looking at Netflix or or Hulu or something like that maybe you get great results on one service or app and not on another it very well can be the issue of where's your content coming from what's their server uh, bandwidth um, are they overwhelmed with with users hitting their server um, and they're not able to push it, if you will, fast enough uh, for your download capabilities. So I hope you learned something from the video on just how simple it is to check your upload, download, to ensure you're getting what you're paying for from your internet provider. Uh, if you have problems with a streaming service, one of the first things you might want to do is to run your speed test just to make sure your upload and download and uh, your latency and all those numbers are, are looking good and they're accurate. But if you're paying for 100 megabytes down, for example, and you're getting 20 or 30, and it's consistently giving you those problems, you know, contact your internet provider, hold, the, hold them accountable to give you what you're paying for. You may find that some of the apps that you're running are going to give you a better streaming result than others. Share some comments and thoughts below on what you may be using already to check the uh, connectivity on your NVIDIA Shield. Appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you have questions or comments, we try to get back to you real quickly. Uh, we definitely appreciate you watching. Have a great day. This is going to be fun to edit because of all this crap I'm doing. <laughs>